Hey guys, Kevin Cleary here with a knife video for you, and today we have my full review of the Wii 615. This is a really, really nice looking knife uh, sent over from Zell at Zellrick42 channel. If you're not familiar with his channel, it wouldn't be a bad thing to check him out if you like a lot of my content. I think you'll probably like a lot of his. And so thanks a lot, Zell, for sending this over. Now let me get into this knife in particular. This is the Wii 615, as I mentioned. And this is, I've got to say, this out of all the Wii knives, there are a number of them out there. This one is a design that I think is going to be broad, a little more broadly appealing than some of their designs. Okay, the grind is pretty standard, the blade shape is pretty standard, even the handle shape, although it does have some neat milling and stuff going on, it's not something that is going to put too many people off. This is a pretty, pretty safe design, and I can see this knife being very, very popular. Not only is the design pretty well done, but recently the price point on these has come down. I think they're around 240, which is really, really for what you're getting, that is actually really really, really good. Now, this one, as you can see, since this is a video, is the purple with satin flats and bead blasted. Let me see if I can get a good shot of that for you. Bead blasted bevels. Now, I'm not crazy about a bead bat bleed. Bleh. Wow. I'm not crazy about a bead blast finish on a knife. Sorry, my, my uh, mouth doesn't seem to be connected to my brain here for a second. Um, but that said, there are a number of variations on this. So I think you can get it in all satin, you can get it with satin bevels and black on the flats, you can get it satin flats and black bevels, plus you can get a bunch of different colors on the handle. Now they don't always have every color you want readily available, but if you shop around, check different retailers, uh, or even wait it out a little bit, you can probably and usually eventually find the particular variation of a particular Wii model that you want. Okay, so that's kind of the background of this knife. I do think, you know, if someone was gonna, if I was gonna say to someone, you know, this is a Wii knife you should really check out, or if someone said, hey, I'd like to try out a Wii knife, would you recommend one? Honestly, guys, this would be on my short list of recommendations because it's great uh, size, it's gonna fit most people, it's not gonna be too big or too small, it's got a blade shape that people are pretty used to and comfortable with the ergonomics are good so so it's it's a very safe I think recommended knife for someone who kind of wants to try out Wii knives uh, and again one of the benefits you get if someone was was asking me I'd say hey go to Blade HQ and Knife Center a few other places and see what colors are available and you can also not only would I recommend the knife but you could pick the one that speaks to you the best and that's kind of an advantage that Wii knife offers that I do appreciate uh, so, let's go ahead and get into the size and weight on this guy. This is just, and I mean just under eight and a half inches. The blade length, now this is something really cool. The blade length here is three and three quarter inches. And that's not something you often see on a knife that's eight and a half inches long. Okay, that's pretty impressive. Four and 11 sixteenths on the handle. And this knife, it being, you know, absolutely a full size knife, only weighs four ounces, which again, I think that's a total, total win. I am very, very impressed. And you can see, you can account for that by the fact that this is heavily, heavily milled out internally. Plus you've got this large cutout of the blade. You know, it's just really, really paid, they've paid close attention to get this down to a very, very comfortable weight. Uh, and in terms of carry, yeah, this is a great carry knife. You're getting a ton of, um, what, what do I say here? You're getting a great tool with a ton of utility for a very, very comfortable, very easy to deal with four ounces. I think that's a total win. Goes in and out of pocket quite nicely and carries around very comfortably. I have absolutely no issues with anything in terms of size, weight, and carry. Uh, let's go ahead and get into the blade itself. This is S35VN drop point blade. Uh, they've got a maker's name here designed by Simon Crafts. You can see fairly large cutout. There is a top swedge here which is also bead blasted. Now I will say I'm not a huge fan of bead blasting on a knife but uh, maybe you are uh, and if you're not like me the, the cool thing is there are a bunch of different options available in this blade like we went over uh, a minute ago. So no big issue if you're not a fan of bead blasting either. Uh, they do have you know some good jimping up here and I like how they didn't take this swedge too far back. So notice even out here, I've still got a good full width of blade material so I'm not pushing my thumb down on sort of a sharpened swedge or, or a thin narrow piece of metal that's gonna get uncomfortable, okay? 
Now I will say this about this knife. This, the edge here is not super, super thin. I've done some cutting with it, some food prep, and it works just fine. So I'm not gonna actually say the edge is too thick or the edge geometry is bad, but it is getting close to where I'd start complaining about that, okay? And add to the fact that this is a fairly moderate, that is, you know, it's, it's not a high flat grind, it's a fairly low flat grind, and that is gonna add to that, um, sort of less than stellar slicing ability, okay? Now it still functions very, very well, and, and I'm certainly not suggesting even for a second that this won't do anything you would need your EDC knife to do. Uh, I've had great success with it, but it's it's almost getting into, you know, there's some ZT knives that are great knives, but a little thick behind the edge, and this is kind of getting into the territory of some of the ZTs you may be familiar with, or you may have heard me talk about before. So there you go, uh, S35VN, great blade steel. I have no issue with it whatsoever. Um, and, and it's, you know, a lot of neat Wii knife models are in S35VN. And now a bunch of them are coming out in M390 as well. So they tend to do a really good job with their blade steel. Now let's talk about one of the things I really enjoy about this knife and that is lockup and deployment. The action on this knife is great. The detent is just perfectly dialed in so that this flips really well all the time. The geometry is really nice. And I will say what they've done that is pretty darn impressive. And I feel like I've said this a few times recently. Notice I can spider flick that knife. I can thumb roll it. So the detent is such that I can open this any way I want very easily, very comfortably. And that's a hard thing to achieve. A lot of knives that flip really well, like this one does, uh, in order to get it to flip well, they've had to stiffen up that detent to the point that you may not even be able to open it with your thumb. But this guy opens nicely with the thumb, it opens nicely with the spider flick. So that is really, really well done. It is ceramic bearings for that pivot. And of course, Torx, I mean, <laughs> the, the proprietary Wii construction there. Uh, lock bar has the lock bar insert as well as, let's see if I can, there you go, you can kind of see it there see the over travel stop. And I've got to mention something right here that I really, really appreciate. Uh, let me grab another example of this. Okay, so look here on this Kaiser, see how the screws connecting the lock bar insert are coming through this side. This knife has hidden those screws. So there's, well, there's just the one screw, but it's coming from the other side. So you just have that one little point. Even better, I would suppose, now it'd be hard to get enough material to make this work, but it'd be in an ideal world, it'd be cool if you could hide those screws altogether. So they just come in from this side and you can't even see them on the uh, lock side. That would be pretty impressive. So that that's not the case here, but I do like that they've at least minimized the visual distraction of uh, of those screws. And that's not something you see. Let me see, what other knives have I got here? Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna use these for comparison, but see, I can see the screws there. Uh, let's see, you got the Swift here. Again, I can see the screws. Um, I just saw, uh, and now here's another Wii. And again, one screw, but again, it's screwed in from this side, so it's a little more prominent than, uh, than on this one. So I really, really like the design choice here of putting the screw in from the other side and just making it a little less noticeable. Uh, I think that's kind of a win on, uh, on the design front for this knife. Uh, in terms of action, very, very good. It's very smooth, okay? And to my knowledge now, you know, this knife was sent for review. It could have been somewhere else. And so Zell may have oiled this or, or tuned it a little bit but uh, it is really, really nice. So uh, if he's done that, Zell, if you would weigh in in the comments to let us know if you have changed that action at all, if you've uh, cleaned and lubed the knife or anything like that, that would be helpful. Okay, let's now move on. Lockup and deployment, total win. Okay, I have no complaints whatsoever. Uh, let's finally get into the handle. And again, you know, if, if you're thinking this is a very positive review, you're very right. Um, the handle is great. The jimping is just perfect. It's extremely comfortable in hand. Big enough that I get a nice full finger grip. I have no complaints about that. You guys know I like finger choils and this one does give me a nice spot to choke up on the knife and allows, keeps the blade at the full width so I've got lots of room for my thumb up there. Really, really, really like the ergonomics on this. It's very comfortable. In terms of how this is constructed and built and you know some of the details, you can see there's all these milled lines in there that give a lot of texture. Milled titanium clips, single position. Now this is of course purple anodized and I don't love the purple, but 
uh, can't complain too much since this is not my own knife. I would, if I was going to buy this, I would just buy a different color. Uh, backspacer here, which has some nice jimping on it, an integrated lanyard sort of tube there, and I really, really like when knives do that, so it doesn't take away from the overall design. Um, I already talked about the internal milling, which is great. So yeah, everything is really nice on this. Now they are using the proprietary screws, which you know I, I don't love. But I'm not going to take points away because they give you the tool and I've used the Wii Knife tool and I've had no problems with it. Now, apparently that's not true of everyone. We used to ship knives with an extra set of hardware that you could switch out at will. They stopped doing that because people were taking their knives apart and being unable to put them back together. So I don't know who <laughs> is, is that disinclined mechanically that they can't get a folding knife back together, but I'm sure they're out there. Uh, and so we stopped doing that, which is kind of sad. Uh, however, I'm going to make an assumption here and say you can probably get in touch with Zell if you're interested in different hardware for your Wii knife. Hopefully he'll weigh in and let me know whether I'm right or wrong on that. So check the comments down below and see if Zell will let us know. Uh, okay. <clears throat> Not too much else to say about the handle. Let's go ahead and get to some comparisons. All right, so let's see. Let's start off with some budgety stuff uh, that's not quite as expensive. Here is the Real Steel 802 Horus. I brought this in just because it's a pretty nice, you know, it's got nice action. It's a well made uh, knife, but in a lower price point. So maybe you're watching this going, Kev, you got to quit these expensive knives. Well, here's a budget option for you that is pretty well done. Okay, uh, here's another one. Ontario Wrap Model 1, you can see the, the size comparison there. Now one thing I've got to say, when I commented on the blade to handle ratio, check out the, the amount of cutting edge on this is the same, okay? So you're getting the same amount of cutting edge and actually thicker blade stock, but look how much smaller the Wii knife is, plus it weighs a full ounce less. So really, really well done in terms of blade to handle ratio and in terms of how much utility you get in a pretty small package. Uh, one thing, let me say this. I know I should have mentioned this when we were talking about ergos. I would like to see this choil just moved back a little bit. Give me, give me that extra eighth of an inch of blade length and move this choil back a teeny bit and uh, I think that would balance out the knife a little better. Uh, I feel like I've just lost more cutting edge than I want to here. I would, you could gain, I think, easily an eighth or a quarter of an inch just by reworking this area a teeny, teeny bit. Sorry, let's continue with the comparisons. Before I get to the more uh, comparable stuff on price, here's a pair of two. Again, very well loved. Um, and this is more like the choil I have in mind, where you take some of it out of the handle so that you can save a little more blade. And of course, the pair of two is not known to have good blade to handle ratio, but it will kind of make that point for me. Okay, let's get to some stuff that's maybe a little more comparable. I've only got this one Kaiser. Okay, so I'm going to bring it in, even though this is not... This is not a good comparison at all, guys, but there are some Kaisers that are good. They're similar in quality. They're, they're made overseas as well, and they're going to come in at a little lower price point. Although, let me say this. For the extra, like, $10 or $20, like, if your average Kaiser is $220 or $230, for your $240, th this is a step up, okay? So, you're paying only $10 or $20 more. You're getting a lot of extra, generally speaking. Now, this Kaiser happens to be one that has quite a cool design happening and some, some carbon fiber and stuff. So it's maybe a little bit different, but generally I think the, the value on Wii knives is definitely very good. Uh, here's another overseas knife. This is another real steel. This is the Megalodon. I compare this to a lot of knives because it again is super, super well done. Um, the action is stellar. Now the action's better on the Megalodon than the, the 615. Honestly, I've I don't know of too many knives that have action as good as this and I have a lot of really nice knives Okay, so uh, This thing is unbelievable what real steel has done here with the needle bearings is just Outstanding uh, Let's see. I could have had a couple other Wii knives. You guys know Zell sent a few others But I thought I would save those for a different video and here is my own Wii 604 uh, very popular knife. This is one that serves to point out the example that I was giving earlier. When I said you might have to wait or look around to find just the one you want, it took me some time to find this. And it was funny because I'm in a, I was in a discussion and I said to 
uh, a guy on through an Instagram message, you know, I would really like to find a Wii 604 that's just plain with the Tanto. And he's like, whoa, whoa, wait, I've got one I'm trying to sell. So uh, thanks Nico for that, that worked out really well. And if you don't know, if you don't, know who I'm talking about. Today's Grail, tomorrow's Beater, follow him on Instagram. Uh, definitely recommend you do that. Uh, anyway, so I got this knife from him and I'm super, super happy with it until uh, I, I do plan to get some work done on this knife. So look for that coming up. And I'll probably do the work first and then do the review. Finally, uh, let's see. Oh yeah, here we go. Um, similar size, similar weight. This is the Olamic Swish. Now, of course, there's considerable more cost here, uh, but this is made here in the U.S., well, here in North America, made down in the U.S. compared to this guy being manufactured in China. Okay, so those are the comparisons. I know there were quite a few there. I try to get something for everybody when I do these comparisons and, and try to offer people something that maybe they're, they're watching this video uh, and don't love the knife, but at least by going through the comparisons, we give everybody something they can really sort of uh, sink their teeth into a little. All right, so overall, guys, I've got to say, this knife is really, really well done. So from Wii, I pretty well expect a high level of quality. I don't have too many issues from that perspective. Um, but in addition to being good quality, this, I've got to say, is, is one of their better designs. It's, it's extremely comfortable in hand. This blade shape, the handle shape is very... I don't know, it's, it's a little more vanilla, I know, than a lot of their designs, but that makes it also a little more versatile, a little more broadly appealing. You know, it's naturally quite comfortable, quite easy to carry, quite useful, and all of that comes from this design being a little more standard, maybe. Uh, also, uh, I think this is one of the Wii knives that really gets the action right. I've been disappointed with a few, but this one is phenomenal, and I don't know if it's geometry now i know you know this has a longer flipper than some other knives and so i'm sure nick would be complaining about it banging on the other stuff that he has in his pocket um but overall guys really really nice knife highly highly recommended if there's you know if you're looking for a wee knife to try that's a really good example of what they can do i think this is definitely one of the better ones hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to like and subscribe and we will talk to you soon